Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dot Hack Quarantine. Speaking of quarantine, I'm feeling a bit better. I'm getting my voice back. I am still coughing quite a bit. I'll do my best to edit out any of those, you know, clearing my throat. Getting kind of congested. I was using a humidifier in order to hopefully clear all of that. Uh, I'm now deciding not to use the humidifier. And we're going to see how that works out. I feel like something came in with the windstorm that we had a few days back, which is what made me sick. I went out during the windstorm to go and check the mail. And it's like the next day, tonsils swollen up all in just not a good not in a good shape but hey we're improving speaking of improving we gotta continue doing this game we have to beat this game we have to pick a mission off of our word list that we have because there are quite a lot of missions here I'm just kind of going down the line pretty sure there's nothing further down here no and uh, doing them as is Scenario revealed by Jun as inhabitant. Oh, an inhabitant of Nitzla. It is level 80. We can take that. We're level 88. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure this is going to require a certain amount of virus cores. Do we have those virus cores in order to go here? Because it seems like all the areas that the uh, Net Slums inhabitants want us to go we do we got all of them sweet okay so uh i'm gonna get a party we're gonna go do this level all right who are we taking with us ed has to be people of the lower level and it looks like the lowest level is 85 all right yeah let's go <laughs> uh she's not here uh, 397. 398 might be the winners. Yep, they're the winners. Sanjiro and Moonstone. Oh, it's you! Wait just a minute! Don't have time to wait, Sanjiro. And Moonstone. I'm coming. All right, I'm pretty sure those guys are all up to date on their equipment. Although I could use a better sword. I don't know if I have one for him. He could use a lot of uh, better things. He's just got the basic level 79 stuff. Uh, he uses the heavy armor, right? Perfect. I'm going to give him that one that I just got. Uh, Kiki and Lala's a level 60 weapon. He's got the Night Ape Hood, the Ebony Harwach, uh, Jet Gloves, and a Guard Soul Rat. So he's rocking level 80 armor. Uh, should be pretty fine, but I'm, I don't know if I still have that equipment on me. I'm going to equipment and not items. Oh, I do. I still have all the stuff on me. Uh, no weapon for him. Here you are, the Omega Guard, which you're going to give to, uh, Sandra. Hey, what's wrong? I'll show you, just check their trades. Give him the Omega Guard. Whoa, now this I can use. Thanks! Stone, you got anything oh. worth trading? Ebony Greaves and a Night Soul Ritz, which is not good for any of you. Alright, well, let me go mess with my inventory, and then we'll head to the area we need to go. I'll be right back. And we're back! Alright, so we did some trading around... Turned out that I did have a better sword for Sandro in my storage and a better chest plate for Moonstone. 
also in my storage. Nobody had anything worth trading. Everyone's equipment all seems to vary around like level 40 to 70. And we are now at the point where we need to get 80 and 90 gear. So that is what we're holding out for. And it seems that we find them more when we data drain monsters in areas. So hopefully we'll start finding some heavy gear stuff and get Sanjiro added out. So let's go. Head on over to Splendid Emerald Nobleman. A's, the three K's, we're all out of K's now, nice, and three E's. This also being a level 80 area. Chances are the monsters that we fight here are going to be too weak. So I may just fight the uh, first monster, see what we're dealing with, and then go straight into the dungeon. Oh, it's one of these. It doesn't look like we're going to do that at all. The field is all a dungeon its own. Ah, uh, let's see. Fair's old. Oh, nice, there's a fountain in here, too. We fight me. Of course. Oh, there's a Yanni Cruz. Please support. Story of Sandro. Uh, okay. Stealth Blades. We got those equipped skills. So if we can try and paralyze the steam thing. Activator. So it's a pain fight. There we go. Now we just need to do the steam too. Red flame. My crew. So that one wasn't too, too bad. I kind of want to go to the spring first. Let's go do that. Piney apples. Found the one piney apple. It's probably here in this whole area. Throw in. Should I throw in? What items do we have? What do we just pick up? We picked up professional, which was level 40. Barney wants to throw Miracle Twins in. I don't think they're going to be good enough to do anything with them. And, um... I'm going to hate it if he makes it worse. But I saved it before going in here. Maybe I'll restart. Maybe I'll cheap it. <laughs> the spring has a... Right. Throw Miracle Twins in. I'm just hoping he spits it back out and I can get uh, Golden X, Silver X. Did you lose a golden axe? Or was it a silver axe? It was neither. What? Neither one? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Then is it this? Just between oh, us. Good. With the weapon of this level, there's nothing I can do. I'm happy to hear that. Go to a level much more difficult mm -hmm. and ask Grandpa. All right. In consolation, take this. Till next time, goodbye. Silver X, Golden X, Miracle Twin. All right. 
That's what I was hoping to get. What's in the box? Apocalypse Rod. A level 29 weapon for a Wave Master. It's a lovely thing to find in a little lady area. is all it took Sandro. Oh, okay, no, it took him one swipe, took half his life. Affairs. Cutting the 
green. I want to stay in the blue. weapon waiting for him. Something over here. Looks like the Diablo blades. server and go into a random area. Gonna hunt down G virus cores. That restorative stock hey. back up. Oh, watch out what you got for me. These two guys. Make a 
on, Rom. Uh, I need to change my equipment back to the stealth blades, and we need to. Architects on it. to MMOs. I am the last one to want to use any type of support. That's too much pressure to be the healer, to be the buffer. Just buffing people, sitting back there, controlling the battle, making sure people don't die. But through playing hack and even through overwatch i found it actually really good as a support role i'll play like mercy and overwatch and uh heal people and i tend to do a lot better doing that than i do uh, going in and just fighting <laughs> i seem to just get taken out right quick Oh. 
playing Skyrim earlier today. Came to the conclusion that I have never fully completed Skyrim in the sense that I have not gotten all the achievements for Skyrim. With Oblivion, I have gotten all the achievements except for one. And it was from the DLC from Shivering Isles. You get to pick, like, whether you're going to poison the uh, Duke or the Duchess. And you get an achievement for whichever one. I wasn't thinking at the time to save the game, poison the one, load the game back up, poison the other. There, I would have had it. 100%. Nope. That would be a good idea just to start the game all over again. Go back and get that achievement. Well, that's on the 360. I think I will continue to play Oblivion on the 360 just to get that 100%. And it's a whole new uh, hard drive too, so it's just starting completely brand new. But I'm gonna do Skyrim. I'm really not that far. I think I'm like 15%. I only got like 12 achievements out of the 70 something that they have. That's just a fight over there. I don't care about that. One of these guys. Or juke side. But I like to use uh, mods in Skyrim. And when you use mods, you can't get achievements. So, you can always deactivate them. And when it saves, it tells you if it's a modded save or a non modded save. And I have a non modded save because there was a time where I was going to go back and do all that to try and get uh, all the different achievements to 100% Skyrim. There's a lot in there to do. There's like 70 some odd achievements and they don't look easy either. I gotta get all 11 wolf perks. I gotta get all 11 vampire perks. I gotta get a bounty of a thousand gold in all nine districts. Which is, uh, pretty nuts. But right now, I'm just doing the easy stuff. Like, I just got, uh, Invisible egg. to where I went to go see the Greybeards. Which I had to look up where those guys were at, because I did not know where to find them. Do I really care about any of that? I don't. I don't care to go over there and get any of that stuff. Let's just go this way. Let's go down. And then uh, bought the house in White Run. The 5,000 gold house. 
But it's anniversary edition now, and it's more difficult because you've got like the hunger and stamina and fatigue. You can get cold. And, uh... Just uh, an extra layer of difficulty. Which I don't mind. Playing a little stealthy Khajiit guy. See the little mud bones sneaking up on people. There's a dragon! into my menu after I cast that spell. Care for going down that direction. Just go down here. Invisible. Come <laughs> on! 
don't think there's going to be a whole lot in these boxes. Still want to check them out. I have so much money. I don't even know what to do with them in this game anymore. I'm going to wind up hitting the max amount of cash. Before spending it. Tell me right here. It's stats. Yeah, there's my money. Seven hundred and fifty-five thousand two hundred and thirty. Two hundred. Yeah, two hundred thirty. Seven hundred fifty-five thousand two hundred thirty. Money is what I got. What am I going to use it on? I don't know. I can't use it to trade with people, which is weird. I can buy the things off the store, but the only thing that are worth buying off the store is to replenish my uh, dungeon items, my healing elixirs and things like that, resurrects, stuff of that nature. And I've gotten to the point, since I can't really trade with anybody, and get better items. The items that I'm finding in here that I don't use are all getting sold. The spell books, the uh, different potions that don't heal max, like the healing potions, the artisan souls which don't heal max, so getting sold. And that recovery drink, that's well, they're getting sold. Not even gonna use them. We're at the point of max healings, there's no point for them. Rising Sun. That's a new one. Or it's not a new one. I just forget what it is. It's a Blade Master weapon. Low 40. Ain't that great? Don't get so. See where the Gat statue is. The thing is, is yep, right there. The little purple is to do. It's just right there waiting for us. So I'm gonna heal myself to max. And uh, we're gonna run in and fight. See what we're fighting. A Cerberus. This is one that we actually do have to like, like, like. I have no water attacks. So I'm just gonna be sitting back here. Doing my best as. I cannot weaken these guys. They don't weaken like that. Seems like it's one hit. 
Level 83, it's not bad. They come in handy. You gotta check to see what Nuke and Gardenia are rocking. Oh, hey, we don't get kicked out right away. That's cool. So I can actually go get the uh, God Statue stuff. Golden egg. Pretty sure the whole reason we are coming here is just to beat those guys, to get those virus cores which is going to be used either for the story mission or a hidden boss mission at the end. Maniac Sword. Let's see what a Maniac Sword is. It's a Blade Master weapon that's level 77. Doesn't really have much of a description to it. It just says weapon for Blade Master. Get a level 3 darkness attack, uh... Increased target's defense gives you weaken. And a level 3 fire attack. And life drain. Life drain's always good. Level 77, on the other hand, it might be on the low side, but I don't know where we are at, Blade Master wise, if that's uh, good enough for them. But hey, we beat this level. We conquered. We can leave. Let's get out our Sprite Ocarina. Back to the field. <laughs> Get out of here. check to make sure that that check mark isn't on here anymore okay good splendid emerald the woman is done dreaming moonlight gravestone is next and then we got rotting countless sacrifice keyword from the board a player is calling for Subaru will she appear she might we have her axe and then uh, we still have a golden gob tag match, but I want to do these two net slums before we go and do these things, just because that's the order of things. And I believe there's another server, too, that we have something to go and do. And we're going to get it all done. We're going to have a great time doing it. We're just going to breeze through. We're going to be the best at this game. We're going to be so good at this game. Because I am so good at games. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Quarantine. Goodbye.